didn't think too much of the Ronin attire when I got it last time, but apparently it does increase attack damage, so that's what I've been using lately. And a nice uh, white color scheme going on with it, too. Not nearly as interesting as the last outfit that I was using, but sometimes function over form and all that. Look, I'm sure I'll have much more opportunity in Act 2 and 3 to get something a little bit more interesting than this. But for right now, you know, hey, killing things faster is good. And I should be getting into Act 2 very quickly. This does seem to be the last, uh, the last thing to do before you try and get into the castle. It's just there is also a lot of other uh, smaller character quests as well as the legendary stuff that I am going to be doing too. I don't know. I, I want to check out that new armor there as well. But uh, first off, got to get the grappling hook. Because once again, we all know it's a grappling hook. Let's just go do it. Fighting ahead. Yes, yeah, a little bit more. Um, I, I still didn't do the chain assassination. Why is it a different button? Why can't I just press the same button over? Whatever. Well, anyway, there's more people here than there was last time. Come on. I, I think that's Yuna above there helping me out. Ah, that's not a... There we go. <laughs> that was not a bow. I saw that. I saw that rag, darling, like I'm playing Dark Souls here. Jin. You made it. What happened here? Where's Tucker? Hiding with what's left of Komatsu. Mongols came a few days ago. They took prisoners. Killed anyone who put up a fight. Now they're coming back to finish the job. These were just scouts. The main force won't be far behind. Then we have to go. Now. We can hold this town. What? We need Komatsu's forge. I just got Let's this cool on. new outfit that makes it so that I can kill archers we in like to. a single hit. We we'll be fine. <laughs> no. I'm tired of running. Take me to the others. Maybe not the best for stealth, though, but at the same time, ah, it doesn't matter. Like, I've been playing this game stealthy at all. And besides, actually, most of the places that I'm hiding in are, are white flowers anyway. Left. A few families. Mostly farmers and blacksmiths. Not worth much in a fight. You killed all these men by yourself? Good work. I've had some practice. Can you get more arrows? Used ones. Stuck in buildings. And bodies. Yeah, They'll have to <laughs> I can do. see. Well, anyway, I mean, I'm not going to be using bows, so uh, you're welcome to them. Safety. One of them got trapped over here by the Mongols. She's alive. I is it safe? The Mongols are gone for now. We're going to the forge. You'll be safer with us. Is the forge working? Yes, but we can't light it. The smoke will give us away. Show the Mongols where to find us. We can use it to lure them in. Force a fight at a location we control. They won't be expecting you here. Lord Dazakai! Yuna! Tucker. I prayed the gods would protect you. I appreciate it. But I came for your help. Yuna said you needed something. A new tool. To save Lord Shimura. He's held prisoner in Castle Canada, and I need to break him out. Quietly. With no one seeing. This town has a forge. And you're a blacksmith. The best. I might be able to make something. But there is no time. The Mongols. I won't let them take Komatsu. We're staying. I need my assistant, Yukio. But we got separated. Where is he? I think he was looking for his wife. In town. I'll find Yukio. Yuna, be ready to fight. She always is. Alright, well. Gotta go uh, round up a few people and then then I guess I'm getting it. I don't know, I, I suppose, you know, hey, major legend increase without uh, at least doing, you know, more than just killing a couple dudes would not really make too much sense. Can't be too surprised. This is going to be a little bit more involved in that. 
Still, though, for a scouting crew, it's like how many more guys are going to be appearing in here? Oh, just do it. There. Like, you ain't going to get me. Some nice, uh, like, golden hour lighting here, too. Anyway. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Right here. <laughs> I knew it. Always on the second floor. Yukio? Yes? Taka needs help with the forge. Follow me. Oh, wait. My wife and her sister are by the river. Lead me to them. Quickly. This way. Stay close and follow my orders. All right. Well, to where am I going exactly? Uh, by the river. So I guess just like, yeah, get over there. Could be what this direction? Yes. All right. All right. All right. I ransacked an entire town by myself. This sure. way. Okay. Never mind then. Ransack the entire town by myself. It's like, this is trivial. Come on. As long as I have enough kunai, nothing can stand in my way. And I guess that was the only guy here. Didn't even get the... So much blood. Oh, uh, don't even worry don't about it. it. It's fine. Look at me. That's normal. Like, the fact that this is still a white outfit is actually kind of, um... Surprising. The Mongols found ah. them. Stay here. Yeah, you can see this does like the the damage bonus I'm getting from this is pretty substantial. It's quite nice. Huh? Oh, okay. No wonder you're even still fighting. Thank you. Yukio sent me. He's alive. Follow me. Taka needs your husband. Mutsu. My love. Yukio. I thought I lost you. Are you hurt? That man fought like an animal or a demon. Well, Quiet. I mean, I'm no de- Oh, I thought he was just going to keep silent. We're going to the forge. Stay close. All right, where are we? There's guys up here. I could take them out stealthily if I... Wait, can I just stand off? Stand off? Stand off? No, no stand off. Oh, are you going for the... These guys are not even hostages. They're following me around. I mean, I guess, yes, technically you don't have to be a hostage to go attack, like, just the random people kind of hanging around here, but still. Oh, for God's sake. Stop it. Stop doing that. You're just opening yourself up to getting killed by me. Uh, uh. Oh, for God's sake. Yeah, 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 yeah. So much for staying out of sight, you guys. Like, you could have just stayed back while I killed all of these dudes here. There are so many guys here. This is not a scouting party. I'll say that right now. What? Oh, wrong direction. Oh, come on. Stop it. Stop doing that. I don't know. For everything else in this game, it's like that sort of like little icon of uh, the stuff sticking out just seems very like it doesn't quite fit in the uh, the aesthetics. Stand off. Stand off. No stand off. Oh, you're an archer that like you'd probably be better. Come on. Probably be better served just um, attempting to. Probably would have been just better served attempting to um, hit me with a torch at that point. I played Bloodborne. It's like that's like a legit weapon. All right, I think that we're good. <laughs> it's not a legit weapon, but it, it can do a decent amount of damage. Hits many times in a row for fire. Yukio. Don't think, oh. Thank you, my lord. Wow. <laughs> the Mongols you just done that the entire time. She went to get a family from the house across the river. Everybody's still sneaking in That's here too in the background. 
Don't light the forge until we come back. And Yuna is way up near the fog of war. As you do. They actually do call... That, that's another... Speaking of other things that don't really fit quite in the game, they do, in fact, refer to it as fog of war, I believe, in one of the the outfits. The, the traveler's attire. Yeah, 30% more of the fog of war on the map. It's like, it's... It's weird to see, like, that, that, that sort of genericized term actually being used in, in a game like this. We're ready to light the forge. Taka said you're looking for a family. I was too late. The Mongols captured them just across the river. Those people took my brother in when he was an apprentice. Then we won't leave him behind. Let's go. But first, I thought I saw some kind of collectible over here. Oh, come on. Didn't even give me a chance to try and not get seen immediately. Cruel laugh. Oh, no. Cruelties are happening over there. Huge wish wish. Well, this is going pretty well, all things considered. I mean, sure, got very close to having a number of. Come on, now. got very close to having a number of um, uh, uh, hostages attacked. But aside from that, it's actually been going fine. Yes, but where though? Well, they actually got like this entire area surrounded, eh? Not for long. <laughs> There's actually feeling like maybe I should just pump up the difficulty at this point in time. Especially if I'm going to be doing like all these side quests and everything. It just might not even be a terrible idea. However, I don't know. I always say that just like medium difficulty is what the game was intended to be played on. That is, that is what everything is balanced around. And that's what I think is probably how you should play the game you, if you're not you purposely looking us. for a great this challenge over. can you make it to the forge yes i think so everyone stay close to me this is just going to be leading a bunch of peasants back to the forge over and over until i'm able to get my cool grappling hook it's a long story the way he killed him he's not human maybe he's not. Oh yeah, watch this. Watch this right now. Are you kidding me? Like, ah, this guy just came in and started attacking us. Time for... Time to go attack the other people that he's with. I mean, they're not... That's not the wrong thing to do. It's just silly to... Oh, come on just silly that it, that it happens like that. They're not going to kill me. They are going to kill my uh, my followers, though. Are you cowards? There we go. <laughs> Get a few more standoffs here, because it's just like that. They're not going to be attacking the other guys while I'm doing this, after all. Or are they? Or are they just doing that right now? Oh my god. Did not think that this was just going to be like one real big escort mission, if I'm being real with you. Now then. This is what a Mongol scouting mission looks like, by the way. So 
I'm apparently killing the entirety of Mongolia over the course of this game. Yuna, thank the gods. Like the forge took her. What about the I'll say this: It's been a while since I've uh, messed up on the standoffs. This place. That gives us a chance to kill them all. If they don't kill us first. Either way, this is where we make our stand. And then suddenly a thousand Mongols start pouring in like I'm playing Days Gone. <laughs> Actually, that's not even entirely inaccurate to what just happened. No, not you. Come on, one more. There we go. And then aside from that, it's just like the kunai should be fine. But you know what? I don't really use a whole lot of uh, the sticky bomb. Why not? Didn't do as much damage as I was thinking. Did a perfectly good amount of damage, though. No. That was apparently the only sticky bomb that I had, though. Kind of surprising. And I saw he already was like, oh, I'm going to go attack those. I'm going to go attack all the innocent people. I mean, it's like, yes, again, the correct the correct decision to be made. Is that a dog? Look, I don't want to, but we're in wartime now. That's, oh, for God's sake. Oh, he's distracted by the dog. Time to run in here. There. Oh, Yunif died? Ow. Oh. And... Yeah, yeah, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. What, what am I... What do I do here? Thanks. I'm trying. It's hard. I'll just use all my resolve here. It's not like I'm going to be doing too much of anything else with it. Do that one like legendary technique that I got early on that it uses resolve. But aside from that, it's like it's not entirely necessary. That's Yuna. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's kind of hard to tell with this lighting. <laughs> oh, and I am now out of... Uh... Okay, now. You're not really giving me too much of a... an ability to do anything. These dogs have been, so far, one of the most threatening things that I've come across. Oh, you know what? Whatever. Here, I was just saying, it's like, I'm not really using this legendary technique. Well, maybe now is now the time is to do that. Oh, whatever. Let's just do this, then. And maybe even more than that, I can just go for... The kunai. And you know what? I will. Sick of messing around with this. It's fine. So close. The ability to take down big guys would be pretty nice. And that should do that. Hey, I've purposely been not doing that the entire game. That is out of character for me. I 
I've never seen a samurai fight like that. Yeah, it was not my best battle, I'll say it. Nothing. You are more than a samurai. He is a vengeful spirit. Back from the grave to slaughter the Are they mongers. gonna say it? Are they gonna say the thing? Where do we hide now? You don't. Fire up your forge. And get back to making strong Komatsu weapons. That's how we fight back. That's how we'll save Lord Shimura. Vengeful spirit? I think they liked it. Yeah? Ooh, almost there. Good level four, I think. <laughs> I read that samurai follow a path of honor. It is one of the many differences between us. Mm. Then why have my men found their brothers stabbed in the back? Lord Sakai would never resort to such tactics. War brings out who we truly are. It has made you a dog, unleashed by your cousin Kublai to rape and pillage at his command. Your nephew strays from the warrior's path. You will become what you hate, unless you join my empire's fight for peace. You don't want allies. You want soldiers to overthrow the Shogun? Consider my offer. Help your nephew regain his honor before his cowardice goes too far. And before I bring you his head. I can't free my uncle until Tucker finishes what he's working on. I should see if Yuna has any news. Look, I wouldn't be doing that if it was... I wouldn't be, you know, stealthily killing dudes if it wasn't so easy. If your men weren't all so stupid. <laughs> Almost everything. And what's this? Hmm. Saddle? <laughs> well, whatever, I'm... The banners are, like, maybe the least concern. Uh, uh, that and the, the crickets are kind of, like, the least concern uh, as far as collectibles go, just because... whatever. <laughs> I, once knew a man. I do like myself some cosmetics, but I barely even use the horse most of the time. There's the exploding knees we know and love. If the Mongols come back, we'll find them where they stay. Spreading more of your stories? Just telling them what they want to hear. Some of hey, them there we go. We got it. Ghost. After you put the idea in their heads. These people stay because they believe in you. They should believe in a samurai. To them, you're both. When Lord Shimura is free, they won't need to put their faith in folk tales. You are dressed Maybe. in all white. <laughs> Taka's sweating over the job you gave him. He doesn't want to let you down. Let's see how it's coming along. Well? <laughs> you were looking for warriors to help save your uncle. Any luck? Some. Sensei Ishikawa and Lady Masako Adachi are still alive. They're dealing with their own struggles, but when it's time, they've agreed to help. An archer and a noblewoman. You sure that's enough? That's why I hired the store hat Ronin. Turns out their new leader is an old friend of mine. Well, sounds like you have all the help you need. Will you join us? I don't know. Uh, She's Lady Adachi's? Been... That was the guy that got uh, the, the alcohol spat on him and lit on fire at the beginning of the game. Wow, that's rough. <laughs> Thank 
Thank you for your patience, my lord. An iron hook with a rope attached to the end. Wow, it really is just can use it to climb exactly walls. that. Swing over things. It'll hold my weight? I tested it myself. I call it a Kaginawa. Mm -hmm. It's perfect. I'm in your debt. No. It's a gift. I have my sister, my home, my life. That's enough. Thank you, Taka. Jin! Where are you? Yuzo? Jin! Jin Sakai! Anyone see the samurai? Yeah, 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 I'm right here. Come on. I've been looking all over for you. Yo, what's up? The Mongols have captured my best fighters. I was counting on their help to free Lord Shimura. Jin, if we don't do something, my men are dead. And your uncle stays locked in captivity. Where are they? Caged near Fort Yadade. All right, Yuzo. Let's see what we can do. You said they're in cages near Fort Yatate. Where exactly? The cages are actually inside the fort. At the top of a cliff. How are we going to free your people from there? I still have a few men who weren't captured. They're waiting for us at a crossroads nearby. We'll need the extra swords. Lead the way. I, mean, I have no idea where, the, where we're going right now. <laughs> oh well, lead the way. Another place that I could might be able to just uh How will your fast travel you? into Remember immediately. Oh, the one showing Mongol supply lines. Did you find food? Yes. Very well guarded food. Too many guards for your best men? The ugly bastards were all over us. I barely got away myself. And you're sure the men are alive? I heard them singing last Look, night. I'm just saying, you don't have to go full I'm on cannibalism. It's there. just like so I. I just like cut off a little bit of thigh meat. Singers? You know? Might be more pleasant than mercenary work. <laughs> like, there's enough guys around here. You can be... You can be choosy. Uh, at Lord Naga's tournament. We never talked about it. Before we spawn. I invited commanders from Like, it would be so easy. I just like killed, like, two dozen dudes. You almost broke my arm. I'm sorry. It was my first tournament. I got swept up in the excitement. Of course you did. Every samurai on the island wanted to meet the Jito's nephew. I never thought of it like that. You were born Lord Saka. That tournament was my one chance to gain attention. To enter the service of the Lord, become a samurai. You should have come to me. I would have hired you. Because no one else would? No. I needed to prove myself. I wish you told me this earlier. Maybe I should have. I mean, y'all are pretty desperate, right? Come on. Someone in Kumatsu called you the ghost. Yeah, they said it again. I'm not good enough. What's wrong? You're afraid I'll get more famous than you? <laughs> I mean, how could I not be extremely famous at this point? Yeah, it's a flower. <laughs> I might have lost... Oh, there he is. <laughs> hey, come on. I need that for, like, a future um, dress-up fun times. It's... I never would play a game purely to dress up a person. Uh, to really dress up my character. But if they give me the ability to... Hmm. Perfectly synchronized. Where's Hiro and Shinzo? They left. And they're not coming back. Cowards! They give me the ability to. I will. Running off. After all I did to keep them alive. We still have enough to save your men. I've worked with less. I've lost men to Mongols. Sickness. Hunger. But never this. They're weak. It's not your fault. Anyone else want to leave? It 
It'll be dark soon. I need to ride the boat out there. We'll figure out how to free your men on the way. Draw hats. Ride! Yeah, I did find it kind of suspicious that uh, I wasn't really getting any more of the Straw Hat missions. Like, you, you could see the other character-specific missions that I found uh, around on the map here, but... Oh, Fox then. Wait, where am I? <laughs> oh, whatever, I'll do it later. Fort Yatate. That's where the bastards are holding my men. What's your rescue plan? My plan. You're the one who got us onto that Mongol ship. Hmm. Oh, I'm gonna run up and kill everybody. There's Is that cool with you? Into the fort, and it'll be heavily guarded. I need to get inside without being seen. The Mongols won't be watching the cliffs at the back of the fort. Yeah, they're up. gonna start over running over, over and How? killing all your men you if I monkey? if I'm seen, <laughs> as you do. To help me. As we saw I'll happen like men. ten times in a row in the last Once half hour win, here. I'll set off one of the alarms. That's your signal to ride in and crush the Mongols between us. See. I knew you'd have a plan. Yeah, I'm definitely not just making this up on the spot, eh? Definitely. I'll find a way up the cliff on this side. Stay hidden until you see my signal. Good luck. Don't fall. All right. Cliffside. I've certainly had enough um experience with that, just doing all the, the very shrines around here. Little, um... Little just like parkour missions. All very simple, all very, uh, I guess you compare it to, well, I would compare it to the uh, the Uncharted games. Oh, yes. Uh, R2. Oh, jump and press. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> press L2. <laughs> Look, I, they, they, they're giving me a little, a little, a tutorial bit right now. It's it's fine. It worked. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised myself. Jin has finally become Batman, in the way that we all knew that he would. I'm starting to like this hook. Now the real question is: Is this going to be usable in battles? Cause I could get used to hooking, especially some of the archer guys. They're very irritating to fight. <laughs> Say that right now. But yeah, this is very similar to, like, to, to doing one of the shrines. Should be able to swing this across. Yes, obviously. Now, there was a little tutorial thing that I missed there. I think it was just saying that I can chain together uh, hooking on to stuff if I want to. Or if I need to. Either way. Oh. Oh, this is all like very automatic. I owe you. Aha. Still need to jump though, eh? Okay. It's all very automatic, all very simple. So that's fine. Now then. I need to find Vuzo's men. They really are singing. No, Sounds I'm not going to jump down the there. Not when there are such clearly marked things all over the place. Those would be the cages, I think. If I just... I mean, I can probably just go jump down right here. Although, looking at the beehive that's right next to me, I think that's maybe what they intended for you to do. Once again, Koton Khan, if it wasn't so easy to do this, it's like I wouldn't be assassinated. I'll just say that again right now. Oh. Hello? I would, I, I'll just say that again right now. Oh. 
Oh wait, no, that's a... Hmm. For some reason I thought that was a sword. Stop it. Stop doing that. Oh. That did, didn't feel like I was taking that much damage. I think I got hit by the bees. <laughs> Might be the case there. Anyway, it is just do the exact same thing again. It's like, uh, basically this should work just fine. And in fact, uh, there we go. No, you know, you didn't see me. Now, chain assassination, please. There we go. That was the plan originally, and it worked out significantly better. Yes, I found out that it's just like, oh, that's a bear. <laughs> Why did I free the bear? How do you do what? Who, who? What? How? <laughs> Did the dead bear throw me? <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, the whole idea of like, oh man, I need to, I need to like, uh, yeah, the whole thing of like, oh man, I need to like quietly unlock this is absurd when I can just do that. Like, come on. <laughs> Oh, good, and they're giving me sticky bombs. I guess that makes sense that they're using it themselves. Now. One grapple points anywhere? Yes. Good job, Jin. <laughs> Real impressed with, uh, with how you pulled that one off. No, he definitely saw me. Whatever, I got multiple of these things. Chain assassinate. Chain assassinate. I get even one more, perhaps? No, just one big guy. For me. Guys, don't stand so close. <laughs> and then, basically... Glad you're all right. Again, the, it feels good to actually just break open those doors. It's a sort of thing that it's just like, yes, the, the realistic thing is the thing that you can actually do. I enjoy that. No. Here. The guy over there does not appear to be observable. He, come on now. In the way that you can, like, do that with... In the way that you could do that with, like, uh, some of the leaders. I think they're not actual leaders, though. There they are. You know what? Oh, yeah, there was the leader right there. Cool. Two more, and then I got big guy stands. That's what I'm looking for, baby. then again taking out the big guys speaking of which is gonna make this a lot easier come on like one more hit that'll break his guard and got right. mostly worried about these guys just dying because I wait that wasn't a chain assassinate ah shit Come on. Like, somehow they didn't see me, but... You know. Yeah, as long as, like, none of these guys actually die. That's the only thing I'm worried about, really. Because I'm going to be fine. They're not. I think. It's kind of hard to say. Sometimes when you're fighting against, a, uh, sometimes when you're fighting with dudes, it's totally okay. Like you can, you can just let them go, and they will 
take a thousand arrows direct to the face and be totally fine. Which is kind of how I've been doing it up to this point. Can't just open up the uh, gate here, eh? All right, all right. What's what's the actual plan here? Is there anything where they're like, no, just defeat the Mongols, okay? Easy enough. Gotta go find them, though. Don't see anything around here. There's one guy way up there. Sometimes you get like this whole thing where it's like challenge remaining enemy. And that is what I would like to see right now. Not giving me that option here. Was he just like way up there? Yeah. Well, this is like the first place that I went to. How do you miss me? <laughs> anyway. And there we go. And for God's sake, if that's not enough, then it's like exploding knees. Yeah, there we go. Live up to that name. Any opportunity that I have to do that, which is not just going to outright kill me, I probably should. Uh... One guy way up there. And one guy over here. Such generous parry. Okay. Anyway. Or er, parry time. Assassination time. Don't, no, I don't think it says like a Dark Souls. Yeah, kick the dude above or below you. Which is unfortunate. I would like that. Jump. Now. Where's the plan for this signal? <laughs> I'll be honest here. I didn't really see anything that was very signally around here. Like, hey, I think you're good on provisions now. <laughs> All right, Jesus. We're ready for you. Time to open the gate. And as you can see, I have a charm on me right now that uh, regenerates health outside of battle, so I don't need to go blow all of my resolve. Ah, kind of messing around with that. Yeah, this is going to be easy. I'm going to mash attack right now, I guess. Okay, now they're being a little bit tricky about it. There's one more. I mean, instead of just smashing attack, I'll probably just smash like heavy attack here, because that'll uh, clear out the whole. Um, that'll clear out the whole like uh, defenses of these guys pretty easily. Come on. There we go. For God's sake, surely that is enough, right? Nothing. Oh, there are still a couple guys over there. Getting mobbed by all of my um, good, good friends. What? Oh, yeah, I don't, I don't even know. <laughs> we place bets. How long would it take you to free us? I lost. Hope you brought some sake. <laughs> You're not going to believe this. It doesn't make any sense. What? What doesn't? My men said the Mongols didn't hurt them. They fed them. Good food, too. 
No wonder they were singing last night. Just be grateful they're safe. Why in all the hells would the Mongols feed them? Maybe they expected something in return. Thank you, Jin. My men. They're everything. All right, men. On your horses. I need to meet Yuna in Komatsu. There's level four. Great. So are these guys just going to entirely betray Ryuzo very quickly? And only one more left. If I pack the Mongols' black powder into a clay pot... I can Probably would have been useful instead of using all the sticky bombs there, but it worked out well enough anyway. Then I'll go to check out what else I even want to do. Yeah, a little bit later. All right, so just infiltrate the castle now, yeah? Straight up next time, I guess that I'll probably do that. Until that point, though. Should speak Shoji assassination. I guess, I don't, like, there's not that many of those doors around Shoji are those paper doors that you see in in buildings. Uh, there's not that many of them around here. I'm just going to say right now, but all right. Anyway, next up, though, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go do at least the two mythic things and then probably call it an episode. Then it will probably be character quests. Go for uh, uh, the two that I got that uh, have like nine part quests around here. Followed by the actual finishing of Act 1. I've got a feeling that in this game especially, it is going to be the sort that Act 1 is the big one. The, the, the one where they they really uh, put all of the, the most effort, time and effort and care and attention into. And then the next two are probably going to be still pretty good. This is a AAA game. They have the resources for that. But not as much content like this is the big one yes 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 i'm here i'm here to hear it you've got to... oh. oh there he is <laughs> yeah i want to get that a cool cool arm it's not the right button to press <laughs> sounds like you have an interesting tale to tell but I'm surprised to find you in Azamo. We both go where we're needed, Lord Sakai. My story is for your ears as well. Centuries ago, Tadayori Nagao was the greatest archer on our island, famed for his wisdom and perfect aim. And sizable eyebrows. The Kami Hachiman himself was so impressed he gave the archer his armor, light and strong beyond compare. In those days, cruel pirates raided the coast. They threatened the town of Azamo Bay with annihilation. The people fled to safety, but Tadayori faced the pirates alone, wearing his mythic armor. The pirates stormed the town. Tadayori's arrows tore through them. Few survived, but not one blow pierced Tadayori's armor. Years later, Tadayori died peacefully at home, but his armor mysteriously vanished. Some say his descendants guard it still, awaiting the rise of a warrior to defend Tsushima once more. The little writing about Tadayori that survives refers to a violet crown, a place in the north of Azamo, strewn with violet chrysanthemums, where Tadayori would often meditate. I've been.
Driving the Mongols from our home is all I care about. This armor could help. If it's as good as you say. His armor is without equal, my lord. Well, I mean... Oh, man. That is actually quite north. Uh, what's the nearest area that I can get to? Okay, well, that was something of a run. Maybe I should have chose a closer place to, to teleport to. Also, she's got to remember that I do have a, a horse around here, after all. I keep forgetting about that thing when I'm doing stuff. Well, anyway, here's all the flowers. There's the exploding knees. And... I mean, it's just search. Search around. Should be able to get my health back basically immediately, but... Still. I mean, see, that's the whole thing that really makes it so that the exploding knees thing, the legend, actually works. The musician who told me the legend of Tadoyuki mentioned them. It could lead to the Violet Crown. So just get that health back immediately. Well, crown obviously means that we're going up to the top of this. I mean, I don't really know of any other place that would even make any amount of sense over here. Violet Crown. Tadoyuki's armor could be here. Incense. Found recently. Mm hmm. Something inside that container. A map to Tadayuri's rest. Okay. I mean, alright, so facing that, that appears to be what you're looking for. If I just go straight from here, it seems like I should find some sort of cave down there. Yeah, there we go. Not as good as the previous one, but still a pretty good fall. Taking a look here, though. Across, a, it is across a river. So actually, I guess it's probably behind me. Oh man, am I gonna have to cut again? In another location where there's the violet chrysanthemums. There's a cave somewhere near a well? Or maybe another shrine? And I'm still, oh, okay, I guess I'm gonna cut here. Give me another second. <laughs> Ah, yeah, there we go. Only took me doing three different, three different, uh, uh, Violet chrysanthemums. Tadayuri's rest could be close. Fights around fine. here, just to get to this point. No, I would say that it's obvious that I'm going right here. And there you are. Again, seems sort of like a shrine type of area where I'm about to be doing a whole lot of uh, parkour e type stuff. Mongols. Ah, they strange. Find this place. A map, like the one from the Violet Crown. I guess you can make more than one of them, after all. Well, they somehow all died here. How? I don't know. Tadayuri's vest. That I've been to before? Yeah, I feel like I have. I feel like I've seen this area before somehow. Wait, go back. Uh huh. No? Yes. Yeah? Or can I just. What if I do it like one more time? Because. Like, there's a sign literally that has that on there. Well, whatever. Anyway. Whose graves are these? Time's rushing river slows. Tadayuri's mind at rest. One drawn bow pierces many. Same incense from the Violet Crown. Lit recently. And one more. The emblem of Clan Nago. Tadayuri's clan. What are you doing here? Ah, you know. Leave this place. I'm not here to fight. I am Jin Sakai. Too bad I because you're walking Shima. into you're a, a liar and a thief. Clear Defend um Defend yourself. Yep. Fight in the area.
Bad news for you. I've got a lot of uh, resolve. And that means that I'm going to use my super attack like three times in a row. I guess it's just a thing that he does every single time that we're about to. I don't want to kill you. Stop. Uh, fight a boss. How dare you trespass? He sits on Tarayori's legacy. Okay, okay. So, can't just go and attack this one over and over. I guess I'll instead try and do a little bit of parrying instead. We should be fighting Mongols, not each other. You're nothing but a dirty scavenger. <laughs> Ah, come on now. It's not possible. You know that. You know how Stop to it. use that stolen blade. Oh, come on. One little bit of health left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's probably what I should have saved all the super attacks for. I had less resolution than I thought, to be honest. But yeah, yeah, no. It's not just going to be a mash Stop. fest here. I will actually attempt to fight you legitimately. <laughs> fine, fine. How dare you Stop that. How dare you trespass on Tarayori's state? You dishonor Tarayori's legacy, thief! Come on now. Well, actually, now I can do this. And one more. Not quite enough. But it's enough, enough. Stop that. <laughs> Hold, my lord. My name is Kaede. Last of Tadayori's line. Really does show how I've been kind of playing the rest of the game, though, eh? Assumed you were a scavenger. I'm no thief. But I seek your ancestor's armor. And you deserve to wear it, Lord Sakai. But the armor is lost. And you have no way to find it. There is a line from an old scroll. Tadayori watches over Azamo Bay for eternity. I suspect it's a clue to where he hid the armor. Tadayori's armor gave him great speed and deadly aim. Wear it in defense of the innocent as he once defended Azamo Bay. Watching over Azamo Bay could mean the cliffs behind town. Could be. I don't know, really. Oh, yeah. All the way down there. Anyway, at least I already have this place unlocked, so I can just go there immediately. Tell me that I just did a boss fight and I didn't even get anything out of it. Come on, now. And the whole, like, deadly aim and everything. I just... <laughs> still not all that interested in upgrades for... For, uh, bow stuff. Ah, uh, well. As long as I can figure out how to get up there, I suppose it's gonna be... Something. It's not gonna be too difficult, right? Can only hope... <laughs> Can only hope that I don't have to immediately cut again until I'm able to... Ooh, here's a good exploding knee spot. Uh, until I'm able to figure out where exactly I'm going. I'm not in combat, it's fine. Still gotta... I mean, at least it gives me a nice little uh, rumbling feature <laughs> there. To know that, yes, I am dying right now. Uh, yeah, this seems to be the right place to go. Just need to figure out how to get up here. Ah, of course. And with the, the, the hook, it's like I can't imagine that I'm going to be unable to 
get anywhere I need to be at this point in time. This uh, this sort of game does not strike me as oh uh, yeah, more stuff. Violet chrysanthemums. It does not strike me as one where I'm going to be getting a whole lot of. <sighs> Try again. Face me. Uh, it does not strike me as one where I'm going to be getting a whole lot of different upgrades. Oh, I see a big guy that I'm going to be able to take out. Oh, great. And they're going to go... Oh, another another protect the NPC type of thing. Well, if I don't screw up the standoff, it should be fine. But, uh... They have the musician. I did. I just do it again and not... It's like, once again, so rare that I mess that up over and over. Yet, that's what's happening. No, you didn't see me. Come on, stop looking at me. Ah, whatever, this will work. Do I have... I have kunai, okay. That'll at least make this mostly easy to get through here, then. And then just basically super attack, and we're good. Come on. There we go. Hold still. My lord. How did you find us? A descendant of Tadayori pointed me here. What happened to you? A Mongol spy found a long-forgotten scroll written by Tadayori's firstborn. They forced me to decipher it, and it led us here. So they found the armor? No. I misdirected them, hoping you'd reach us in time. You took a big risk. And it paid off. The armor is hidden beneath this memorial. Claim it for yourself, my lord. A memorial to Tadayori. Underneath, eh? So is it like literally just... Ah. Tadayori's armor. Artistry is incredible. Stay back, musician. I won't let the monkeys eh. hear you. I don't know. What? Oh. Hmm? Oh. All right, well, let's check it out. Yeah, you do seem to draw the bow a lot faster. Still quite bad at this. So yeah, I'm probably not going to end up using this one too much. Still worth it for the content, eh? Oh, come on. How many more guys are going to be coming over here? I die in what's supposed to be the end of this quest. That's going to be pretty embarrassing. Oh, I'm still... Like, I'm just so bad. I'm so bad at archery. I'm curious as to what the other... Um, armor looks are, though. Because I think that's where it's really going to shine, right? Not the usefulness of the armor itself, but really more about, like... Like a leader guy? No, you're just particularly fast. Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah, like the, the, the fashionability of it is important. Well, he's distracted, I guess. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's like I already got the armor. It's like, how, how long is this going to keep going on? That was like watching Tadayori himself. Eh, probably not. <laughs> but I guess I appreciate the compliment. For Nacha. My tale found the right audience. And now it's time for me to move on, my lord. Did he just run off the cliff? It sort of looked like he just ran off the cliff. Oh. That's a weird audience. Well, anyway, there is one more legendary quest to do then. Which is... Like was, it's again more bow stuff. You know what? Whatever. End of episode. <laughs>